Greetings, ancient ones. Thank you to all of you who have been showing love to the channel for all of your kind words. I miss and love all of you as well. Thank all of you for your support, for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. It helps me. It helps the channel grow. Like I can't express to you how uh, how grateful I am of you guys. Um, but again, thank you. But I don't want to hold you up because like I told you guys yesterday, some of these are going to be long because it's been a while. Um, so bear with me. But um, I gave you guys a little visual today because today we're going to talk about Bastet and we're going to do an oracle read because she definitely has a message for you all. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And um, if you feel called to, hit up my tip jars. No biggie if you can't, just your love and support is good enough for me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump in. I have got the download. Today is Monday. It is Bastet's Day. So we say happy moon day to Bastet, right? And other lunar Neturu deities, you know, spirit guides and so on and so forth. But Bastet came through. She has a message. She has been calling out to you. This is very specific. Some of the details in this reading are going to be very specific. Um, this section might be a little long, so bear with me. I don't really, really want to fly through it too quickly because it is a lot to digest and get through. And it could be some things that you've been experiencing for months, weeks. And for some of you, could have been a few years. You could have used to work with her but gave it up or... Um, there's something there's some type of energy around that as well like maybe you stepped away from your practice or whatever the case may be but either way Bastet has been calling out to you um a little bit about Bastet if you're already here nine times out of ten you already know who she is but for those of you who may be new to working with deities or the Neturu um this is just an overview but I did include some things that they don't generally tell you about her um, so let's jump in. She is an ancient Kemetic Netter. She was formerly known as Sekhmet. Um, however, she is her own separate entity. She's considered an eye of Ra, a daughter of Ra, the sister of Sekhmet. Some people consider her the twin of Sekhmet. She's also the mother of Mahis through her love with Ptah. She's considered a protector of the home of women, children, family, and diseases that affect women more specifically. Uh, like Bastet is definitely a girl's girl. <laughs> She's the bringer of good health. So if you have any health issues, you could have been praying recently for better health or something about a health goal. You could have, it could have been something around some type of testing. Um... Don't worry, for some of this, I'm going to put a trigger warning in the front, uh, so don't even worry about that. Um, yeah, she's the bringer of good health, of pleasure, luxury, joy, music, perfume, creativity, and prosperity. Now, that's the general uh, uh, things that people talk about, but if you work with Bast or if you dove into you know, some of the information about her, meditated with her, there's other aspects of her that she'll show. Um, and for some, it could be spiritual alertness, cloaking, shape shifting. And we get that because of her, her, her imagery as not just a cat, but as a woman with a cat's head, right? It's the same as Sekhmet. Um, shadow walking. And I say shadow walking because not only is she the eye of Ra, which most people don't even take in that aspect to consider her a solar Neturu, but she is a solar Neturu because she originates from the eye of Ra. But she's also a Chthonic being because she has a tie to the moon, right? She also has a role in the underworld. So when we talk about shadow walking, we're talking about that shamanistic healing energy of being able to go into the deep, dark depths. And when we're speaking about the underworld, we're really speaking about our subconscious, right? And so she's able to help you do that shadow work through shadow walking, like literally walking with you. She is the guide and protector into liminal spaces. If you ever notice cats, they're very slender and they can slip in and out of places fairly under undetected. Bass can help you with that if you are afraid to do underworld 
uh, work, which is mainly working on your shadow aspects, healing and integrating and purging what needs to be purged. She is a great as, uh, um, uh, asset to your spiritual team. Like she is phenomenal in that area, but she's also good at shadow stalking. Shadow stalking is when someone else is projecting onto you their shadow and she can detect that it's almost like a certain level of discernment you know how some cats gravitate to a person more than another they're using their discernment there's something about that person or their frequency that they cannot vibe with and she will teach you shadow stalking how to stalk out another person's shadow to realize especially for empaths that it's not your energy you're picking up it's the other person's it's the environment so on and so forth She's also good with stealth. Cats are very stealthy. She can help you get in and out of places unseen. Um, with that being said, she can make things un she can make the unseen seen and vice versa. So if you ever lost something, she can help you find it. If you need something to disappear, she can help you find it, which is why we have cloaking up there because she's really good at cloaking people when they're needing to go into other spiritual planes, um, especially if they're doing some type of magical workings, which brings us to psychic protection, protection against magic. Um, and she's also the teacher of sex magic and money magic, as well as, um, I hate to say it like this, but as well as music magic, and I'm speaking to my sirens, those of you who are singers or have like very angelic voices or very angelic musicians, she's good at helping you captivate the audience. So now with that being said, let's get into some of the signs you could be seeing. Now, this is where it gets detailed. So you could be seeing or hearing some of these signs um, or they could just be significant for you. You could be seeing a lot of Egyptian or comedic documentaries, movies, or songs. For some of you, the Ten Commandments and, and Moses kept coming up. Um, you have very holy ties. There's something about uh, Mary. So this could be Mother Mary or Mary Magdalene for some of you. Um, you could have been seeing cat videos or images of Bastet. Some of you could... Uh, have been a winner of the cat distribution system where you know you're just out and about and a stray cat finds you and then you take it home like you won like you literally won and so you could have a lot of stray cats in your area or you can notice that you're attracting a lot of cats to you this is the same for babies as well because babies and cats can see in the similar light spectrum and so babies um, may be gravitating towards you as well now for the for the cats, I, I was picking up a ginger slash white cat. It wasn't quite like a tabby, or maybe it is because I don't really know the names of cats, but it was ginger and white, but it had like little white paws. And the name that came through was Mittens or Mr. Mitts with a Z, M-I-T-T-Z. Um, I also picked up a smoky gray cat. Um, something about yellow eyes. Um or two different colored eyes. And I also picked up a black cat or a white cat or a combination of the mix. Um, the other name that came through, like I said, I had picked up Mittens or Mr. Mitts because someone here gained a, a, a cat or a new kitten. But I also picked up the name Francis and Fran. And this gave me one of those snub face looking cats. Uh, you know, the ones with the small nose. She could also, you could also too be seeing a lot of your phobias, things that you are scared of. This could be dogs, animals of like snakes, spiders, it doesn't matter. Um, they are coming to you in like, I don't want to say droves, but enough where you're like, wait a minute, something is going on here. A lot of times if you are missing signs from bass, just like a cat, she'll play with you. She will bring you something to get a reaction out of you. Um, it's kind of like if you owned a cat before, they brought you a dead bug or a bird or something crazy, and you're like, get it out the house. Um, like a cat, she will do that. So if it's something, if it's an offering you missed, if you haven't been working with her, if you haven't been getting um, the signs of her, like you haven't been paying attention, she will bring your phobias to the forefront. And what will happen is um, she will intuitively guide you 
to an herb or something that repels that phobia, whether it be physical or spiritual phobia, it does not matter. Um, and you'll come to find out that it's something that she's connected to or something that she will accept as an offering. So this brings me to eating, seeing, smelling, or craving. Um, I told you, this is going to get detailed and it's only because it's really specific and she wanted it to be structured this way. Um, but yeah, you could be eating, seeing, smelling, or craving honey, wine, raisins, mirror, papyrus, pine, cinnamon, mint, and mimosa. Now we're going to move on to the chakra energy in meditation. She pulled the sacral energy, um, and then that was the card that popped out as well. There was something about healing and revitalizing you for your success, for something that you're going to obtain. Um, you could have suffered a business portrayal um, of some sort. She wants to assist in helping you build that foundation on your own. So this can have a lot to do with uh, your creativity, your creative work, whether it does not matter what field you're in. It's like she just wants to help you. But for some of you, it could very well be um, some type of medical field you was in and you because I'm smelling ointment and she is of the ointment jar, right? She's the lady of ointments and perfume, right? Um, but there was something that you were trying to start up in a metal who filled. It could have been some type of holistic practice or something of that sort. And it fell through for you, like flat. Um, and, and it definitely could have been from someone else's doing. Um, could it even have been money involved. Um, with that being said, we're going to move on to the throat uh, chakra. She's going to be upgrading. You could have had, uh, she's definitely going to be upgrading your Throat chakra. So you could have had your tonsils removed as an adult or when you were too young to remember. You were very vocal as a child but became quieter as you aged. This quietness came from uh, a stillness within you. It was almost like you became an observer. For some of you, it was the opposite. You were made to be quiet. You were too vocal about something. You could have been speaking too many truths that they were not prepared for and they hushed you. And so now your throat chakra is being upgraded. You can have a lot of issues with your chakra this area um, recently or this year. You could be experiencing a lot of sore throat, something about pharyngitis or laryngitis or something of that sort. Um, you might even see this in your own children because she it, she does protect children. And sometimes when they need to speak up for themselves, she will adjust that by making them come down with something that affects the throat mainly. They'll be like, no, I don't feel nauseous. I don't feel, you know, my head doesn't hurt, but their throat is really sore and it's because they need to speak up. So make sure you pay attention because this is giving me that energy of something could be going on at school or at another family member's house that they need to speak up about. Another thing uh, that came through was the third eye chakra, something about stimulation. Um, for some of you, it's like when you close your eyes, it's almost like they're still open because the vision in your third eye is crystal clear, except with the added razzle dazzle of seeing deeper into the light spectrum. So it's almost like you have cat like vision, even in the dark. It's like you can see something on the floor and you're like, what the hell is that? You turn the light on. And it's something that doesn't even reflect light. And you're like, how the hell did I see that? Your vision is being upgraded. And it's like you're mainly using your third eye these days. You could be even sitting in the sun a lot. Somebody here has definitely been moon bathing. Um, the sun and the moon is going to be significant for you all here, either both or one or the other, because she does represent both. Now, the senses that I picked up was clear audience. You could be hearing cats meowing or purring. You, uh, music sounds more lively and colorful for you. You've been exploring new genres um, that you didn't think you like. Or maybe you're someone who has specific set genres because you have some type of um, sensory uh, um, thing where it, you know, certain genres just don't mesh well with you and they're too much and they overload you like you get overstimulated. But like now you're starting to listen to other things. You could have even started listening to frequencies. Your taste in music could be changing or more energetically healing. So yeah, you could be listening to frequencies. Then we have clear sentience. You can 
uh, feel more passionate. Um, music and conversations could feel differently energetically like uh, than before. It's almost like you feel what they're going to say before they say it or before that you know what they're going to do before they do it. Now, with your energy, you feel more cat-like, more sensual, finding beauty in your flaws, turning your imperfections into the most hauntingly beautiful thing about you, like really loving on yourself, spending more time in the mirror. This is Bass calling you to really enjoy yourself, like pleasure, like look at you, like you're beautiful. Like she, like when I tell you she's a girl's girl, she is. Like she will tell you like it is. Like if you need more confidence, she's going to make you love on yourself. So you could be even becoming more playful and feisty um, with yourself or with others. Like, you know, being very feminine, just very much in your, uh, your femme nature. Even if you have very mask energy, you could be feeling more femme now. Because uh, for someone here, you have very much intense mask energy. And you've even been told by men to tone it down some. And... It's almost like that energy of like, this is me. This is who I am. Um, but Bast is coming in to show you like, yes, you can be masked and still have this air of femininity about you. And so you're you're starting to really embrace that side of you more. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Some, are, some of you are learning how to relax without feeling guilty because you're not doing anything. And it's like when you were young, you were made to feel like your worth depending on how much you can do for others or how much you could just, you know, take care of in a matter of a given time. And so she's calling you to rest, you know, like sunbathe, moonbathe, you know how cats are, they'll get on the floor and spread out. And she's calling you to rest, come to a halt. Um, your rest does not dictate your worth. You get what I'm saying? Like sometimes you do need to sit down and just not do anything. Um, it's almost like learning to enjoy not learning to enjoy being bored because that was another card that popped out bored and discontentment popped out in reverse and it's like learning how to do it but without feeling guilty um your body could be changing as well you could be slimming down naturally whether this is through working out or just hitting a caloric deficient i do want to say though warning because for any unexplained weight loss check with a trusted medical physician because like i said she she's a, she has this shamanic energy about her she is a bringer of good health but you still want to stay on top of that especially if unexplained things are happening always get the medical ruled out or the mental ruled out and then you know come back these are only meant to serve as um confirmations these are not diagnoses or anything of that sort um, but you could have recently hit a health goal. Maybe it was a goal weight or maybe some something about someone's eight. Mm, I don't want to say it wrong. Okay, because because you could have like diabetes. So like maybe your sugar is, is at a normal rate. It, what is it? A1C? It's something like that. And it kept kind of, it kept trying to come through. But I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I am spiritually dyslexic. And <laughs> I... <laughs> You know, like the messages come in fast, so I'm trying to get them. But like, yeah, something about that. You could have just hit a health goal. Um, Your confidence is shining through, though. Like you're feeling good. Um, You have a high, you could have a high body temp. Again, take what resonates, though. Like, please take what resonates. Um, The years 43, 73, 58, 94, 07, and 13 could be significant here. Some type of serious life change of some sort has taken place, and she's been with you since these years. Um, you could be seeing the numbers uh, one, like 111 or 444, 777. These are numbers associated with her, but you could also be seeing numbers of abundance, luck, and prosperity, like 88, 888, 77, 777, 99, and 999. I felt like I sound German, like nine. <laughs> Um, you're becoming more abundant, though. This is what that means. This is what that signifies. So you could be finding luxury in all things and just overall becoming more grateful. All right. So that was everything I have gotten. Again, take what resonates. We're going to go ahead and jump into the Oracle read. We're at 19 minutes, so let's get it. All right, and here we are for the oracle part of this 
reading. We're going to jump in and see what messages that set has for you. I will say that she has probably been sending you her colors. You could be seeing silver, yellow, white. In some cases, you could be seeing like a greenish color. Some of her statues are green, some are blue. You could be being called to make your own perfume. Some of you could have bought a lot of essential oils recently. Tell us more. What messages do you have for the collective resting? What do you need to know at this time? Ooh, what do you need to know at this time? these two you're magically protected at this time yep and protection popped out again to that was the first card i started to read you're under her magical protection what did i say earlier she'll come she'll help you with magical protection protection against magic things of that nature so somebody could have definitely been trying to throw some funky baneful magic at you and you're magically protected they want to let you know that everything uh that you touch everything that you love and care about um is protected right now i said they and, it, and it's because too i don't know why but i'm feeling like someone has like a lot of cats like you could have a lot of cats and they all embody her energy they could have very recently become very clingy with you but with Pata coming out here, you're undergoing some type of alchemy um, because you're meant to create something. It's something in the ethereal realm you're meant to uh, uh, make tangible. For some of you, you've already started this. This could be some type of clothing line where you're illustrating the art. For some of you, this is some type of, um, I want to say it could be film or you could be in film school some type of art major but it's something some type of art modality some type of healing modality you're supposed to bring in this realm you're very powerful you're very protected yeah you're undergoing a divine awakening let's see here and you're receiving star blessings as you're going through this awakening here, as you're going through this alchemical change. For a lot of you, you're receiving these star blessings because you are a Syrian star seed. For others of you, it is because you deserve it, not because you earned it. No, your worth does not depend on uh, what, what you earn. You are valuable whether you produce or don't produce anything. Um, you just deserve this because it gives that underdog energy like you've been through so much. And Bastet wants to let you know that, yes, you are loved, you are protected, you are provided for, you are cared for. I say you are provided for, you are cared for. We have Kanoom flying out with Creator God. Yeah, it's almost like whatever you ask for, if it's not already in front of you, they will create it for you. You pray and ask for something, they like, listen. Just say the word. Don't worry about how we're going to do it or how it's going to get done. Boom. There it is. Oh, you needed you needed money or you needed something to do this. Boom. There it is. It's like that type of energy because they want you to see the creator God in you, that you are a creator God. You are someone who can, what did I say? You ask for and you shall receive. Shoot is coming out. Seek assistance. Come on. I want you to seek assistance yeah look on your sacred journey you are you are first of all someone could be eating cereal or you started eating cereal again on the weekends and watching cartoons because i heard it's magically delicious um that just came through this sacred journey here you're seeking assistance you're you're so magically protected because you have a sacred purpose so you're on this sacred journey Nobody can come in between what the divine has for you, not even yourself. They will move you out the way before they let you be a hindrance to yourself. And by that, I mean, they will make you sit down somewhere if they feel like you're doing too much. And maybe that's why I'm getting that energy of rest. It's okay for you to rest. Some of you have a have have an issue with, with needing to rest because you feel as though... Um, if you're not doing anything, that 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 transcribes into your worth. Your you relaxing does not dictate your worth. 
with Sphinx here, you're getting some type of silent wisdom from this. It's like something that is silently but loudly being shown or aware to you in a sense. What the boy, what did I say? It's okay for you to rest. For some of you, you closed out a lot of of cycles. For some of you, this has been karmic cycles you could have been looped into for 10 plus years. For some of you, it was half of your life. Do you get what I'm saying? You could be 40 years old and you could have spent 20 years in strife, trials and tribulations, but you're getting energetic healing. You're being able to birth something very sacred because of this sacred journey. You're bringing something sacred here. What did I tell you? You're meant to take something from the ethereal realm and bring it here. That's what pregnancy is. It is just opening a portal from one world to the next. You're meant to do something. Some of you are pregnant physically and some of you are pregnant spiritually. And what I mean by spiritually, you're pregnant with ideas, with, with creations, with manifestations, with things you're meant to bring here. Tell us one. Ooh. Tell us more. What other messages is best set here for the collective? Because you want them to know about their own purpose and power. What do they need to know at this time? I said, what do they need to know about their own purpose and power, best? What do they need to know at this time? At this time, best, I want you to know that not only are you protected by Heru and guided by him, but you're coming up on a slow victory. Like I said, this could have been a cycle you was caught up in for some time and it felt like it was never ending. But with so back out here, it is coming to an end. You are um, uh, getting this victory and it seems slow. It was a hard one, one victory, but you, you've earned it. You, you, you literally know you didn't earn it. You deserve it. There we go. You deserve it. You could be 40 years old. Your birthday could be on a 15th. Or the 11, 11 could be significant for you. Here we got number 19 again. 19 could be significant for someone. Your birthday could be in um, uh, August, August 8th. You could be 39, 36, 25, 28, 44, 42, or 41. Yeah, look at this. You want you're 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 either in or about to be in an initiation to bring uh the, the, this 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 ethereal. Um, energy into this realm you're going to learn how to become a full metal alchemist full metal alchemist do you understand it's not about alchemical it's not about you know turning wine into water uh, water into wine and you know metals into gold it's about taking your shadow and transforming it into a useful part of yourself that you can integrate and that's what you're doing here because for some of you, you're under heavy protection because your feminine energy was attacked. It was almost, it almost feels like you could have been persecuted for who you are. And this created some type of blockage. And so you're going through a cleansing here and Bast is here to help you with pleasure and joy, to help you feel good in your body, feel sensual in your body. To help you love yourself and things around you. To accept help from our four-legged friends. To accept love from them. To love them. To love on yourself. You're being, you're, you're being uh, reborn here and renewed. That's why I say you're being initiated. And she's your guide and protector in these liminal spaces. Because you're going in this alchemical change to change yourself. Okay, you are turning from, listen, you are turning into gold. 9-11 on the clock could be significant for someone. That could be your birthday or I'm sorry to have to trigger someone. You could have lost someone to that senseless tragedy. Mm. You could be seeing 9-11 a lot. It's something about your finances or something about uh, 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 the path you're on. You're definitely on the right path here. She wants to t listen. Then listen. She wants to bring you more into your masculine energy. You want to know why? Because you in this Sekhmet energy. You could be a warrior of Sekhmet. You could have resonated with the reading I did back in the summertime. But they're wanting you to put your guard down. Sekhmet is like, listen, I love you and I protect you and I guide you. But please let my sister in. Let her help you. 
Let her connect you back to your femininity. I can be the ferocious side of you, but I can also be that loving mother and nature side of you. But when it comes to your sensuality, to your holy longing, to that sensual side of the high priestess energy that you carry, allow Bastet in to ignite that for you. She carries the same flame as me. She carries the same of protectress abilities as I do, if not more. We are equals, but we, there's some things that I can do that she can't do and vice versa. And so for some of you, it could have even been Bastet trying to lead you to bad. Um, I'm sorry. It could have been Sekhmet trying to lead you to Bastet. For some of you, it was just Bastet. And I think that's why I was trying to say it like that. Yeah, for some of you, it was just Bastet. But you're undergoing immense healing and changing at this time. You're 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 getting prepared to to birth something. I'm gonna take this one because it popped up with Ra coming out here, letting you know that you have creative power, letting you know that yes, my daughter has been reaching out to you, letting you know that yes, my divine justice has been protecting you. You are so loved and protected. And you have been. Since you were a, a child, for some of you, it was since you were in the womb, your, your mom or your dad could have had cats. You could have had a cat when you were young, and it was like a very specific cat, and it was like your ride or die. Y'all were like two peas in a pod. They could have left or ran away somehow. Yeah, look at this, but but you still have, you're guided and protected. You still have guides and protectors. For some of you, your cat, your 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 passed over cat's energy is coming through here. And they are, the, they are coming through as like a familiar-like energy. So this could even be you obtaining a new cat. And you're like, wow, you have a similar personality to, to Binks. Or you get what I'm saying? Or something like that type of energy. But you're guided and protected. Um, Pooh is definitely significant for someone here. Um, Like I said, you call in a lot of protection because you have your guard up um and that's okay but they want you to put your guard down because you're so protected you don't need to really worry about that they want you to focus on thriving in in your feminine energy i don't care if you're your your male or masculine or non-binary we all care carry fem and mask energy and that's where best that is wanting you to go to because with this creation let me cover them up with this creation anything you lost is coming back times 10 i say that with this men card because men has an erect phallus which is why i have my finger right here this is that card of uh, fertility and creation everything that you lost everything that fell through for you is coming back times 10 for you it is coming back in full bloom. Why? Because we have Tarot out here representing pregnancy and birth. A lot of you are spiritually pregnant with gifts that you need to share. You can't, you, you got to stop sitting on these gifts now. Got me sounding like somebody. Grandma, that's the last message I'll take from that one. Yeah, earthly focus. What did I say? It's about bringing what's in the ethereal realm to this 3d realm so there's an earthly focus that's important here goodness you could be 21 years old you could be a life path number six you could be 30 my goodness all right let's pull some energy yes you could be a water sign you could be a fire sign or have prominent placements of water and, and a mixture or combination of water and fire Either in your big three or in some type of uh, major conjunction or aspect. Tell us more about that. What do they need to know at this time? Wow, yeah. You you defeated some type of temptation here. Something that was trying to hold you up. Let me move these to the side. Something that was trying to hold you up here. You see how his hand is like turned away like he's just like no get that shit away from me oh i kind of want it no but it's bad you were going back and forth but ultimately you defeated this this tempting energy this could have been somebody that was in your energy yeah look at that what did i say you beat that energy triumphant success you beat that energy with triumphant success you pulled out your sword and cut cords you could have did a cord cutting ritual you could have did some type of uh, oh I forget what they call it, but you use your thing for it. This is somebody, too, that could be, a, you could be a, a magic, I'll say a magical practitioner because a lot of the collective have witch wounds. And the moment they hear a witch, 
you get what I'm saying? They start flying into the Christian bag, and I ain't got time for that. But um, you could be some type of magical practitioner here, and you use your blade to sever some type of energy. It was like a very ceremonial, sim, sim, uh, 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 symbolic type of ritual where you took your sword and you imagine the energy is being cut. Or you have some type of energy wand, and it's like, um... Um, and like you whip it like that. Yeah, rejoice and celebration. It was successful, so you can rejoice and celebrate. You beat it, this temptation. You cut out whatever energy was trying to come back into your life. This could have even been old people, places, and things. And Bass wants you to know it's time to celebrate. Why? Because prosperity begins. These people ain't in your energy blocking you. Yeah, an emotional loss. You pulled back your energy. You went into solitude. You're moving on. She wants you to have hope because you're full of power. That's how powerful you are. Tell us more. You're, that's how powerful you are. I wanted to come back out. Like, no, 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 no. Come out. So, yeah, the 8th could be significant for someone. You could be a life path number 8. Your birthday could be on September 8th, August 8th, August 9th. July, I was about to say July 1st, but I'll say uh, January 9th, January 8th. The 5th, 6th, 3rd could be significant for someone. That could be your your the date, your birth date or the month you were born. You could be 17 or your birthday could be on the 17th. Your birthday could be on the 15th. Tell us more. Yeah, look at that. What did I say? Throat chakra. Your throat chakra being upgraded. And you're going to start making partnerships and alliances. Because once you start putting your guard down and you start flourishing in your creations. And you start really trusting yourself. You're going to be able to trust others to, film the, to, to form these types of connections. To build rapport with people. For some of you, it's a business you want. But it's like you hate uh, customer face and service you don't like um, dealing with customers but you love creating the art that you create you might be guided to 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 get a uh, some type of receptionist or some type of personal assistant who can talk to the clients for you and then you could just focus on your artwork or whatever it is that you're doing someone here your art is going to be in a, in a gallery or you just got word that it is in a gallery i'm not lying because triumphant flew out yeah you're receiving new beginnings the obstacles and challenges you thought were going to be the end of you or was just the beginning because i'm going to tell you now you want to know why i love villains because they all have this similar energy Nothing is the beginning of everything. You could, a villain could burn the whole entire world down and still be optimistic about things coming back better. Because at the heart of it all, that's what they want. And I feel like while I'm saying villain is because of some of these obstacles and challenges, people made you the villain. And you was like, you know what, fine, I'll be the fucking villain if that means I can have peace. If that means I don't have to fucking deal with this shit anymore. And that's what you did. You freed yourself. Someone's throat chakra is very open. You drop a lot of F-bombs. you like, fuck this, fuck that, fuck everything. Fuck you, fuck, fuck them. And it's because of this accelerated emotion. You're receiving victory and success. They want you to have patience. Bass is going to... she. They want you to have patience because she's going to ignite your passions. There's going to be patience and planning involved. You're receiving spiritual strength. Because you are the light. You are meant to bring harmony here with the with the magic you possess. Put that down right there. Let's get let's let's do this. Push that to the side. I don't know why I keep getting this song, but everybody was kung fu fighting. Ooh, yeah. I always say those cats, but I think it's those those hits, those punches was fast as lightning. But I'm not from the 70s, so I always feel like they were saying those cats was fast as like you jaw cat, like something like that. <laughs> Don't pay me no mind, but somebody could have definitely been listening to like 70s music or like music from like the 70s, 80s, could even have been the late 60s. Neck bet mother mutt is coming out here with grandmother energy. That's why I'm picking up. Some old songs. Everybody was kung fu fighting. I'm not saying that's the truth. You have a um, 
a um, grandmother spirit around you that's very protective and she does not play about her baby. For some of you, this is neck back mother mutt and she's saying you put in the work, okay? Um, she is up here flying above you and Bastet holding this key as y'all are being guided and protected and going through these liminal spaces with these natura. And that's the truth. You're being brought into balance so that you can radiate. You're an alchemist. You're a wisdom keeper. You're so important to this realm. They need you to stay here. Some of, and I'm saying that because someone said they wanted to go home. No. You want to know why? You have a sacred relationship with your journey with the collective to be here. You could be working with Kanun, Sobek, Heru, Sekhmet, or one of the Sphinx-related um, Netru. But... What did I say? Those liminal spaces are being opened up here with Ampu, opener of the way and key. You could be uh, finding key. Someone could have lost their key or a key to their job. or It was something very important. Yeah, with Kanshu here, lunar energies, divine timing, and blood mysteries. Bastet is basically saying it's time for you to step in and embody these mysteries. Embody the sacred feminine energy. For some of you here, it was it was you feeling ashamed of the type of work you used to do. You could have used to strip or dance or be in some type of sexual entertainment type of industry. But it's because you are this high priestess energy. And I'm getting that energy again coming through, especially with lunar. You illuminate things or things become easily illuminated to you. So you're able to dip and dive certain circumstances and situations. Yeah, star consciousness. You're very aware of a lot of things that go on around you, whether you say it or not. You're very tuned in and tapped in. Um, I'm getting this feeling of you could have been um, a bit hesitant of working with that step because the energy felt... Um, the energy felt off and while I said that the, the the sphinx flew out and it's because sometimes she can come in a bit heavy because sometimes Baz I'll be honest she doesn't come in alone if you're not already working with Sekhmet sometimes Sekhmet and Baz will come together because they both have that shamanic healing ability 22 on a timer as I said that they both have that ability for stealth and cloaking shamanic healing things of that nature and it could be intimidating the sphinx flew out because like I said you have a sphinx nectar around you this could be a nectar through associated with dreams there's something important about your dream uh, world but it's meant to bring you divine messages and cosmic knowledge it's almost like Bass is, is helping you navigate some type of cosmic library um, or, or some type of truth about yourself yeah with the desert here it's, it's a long sacred journey of discovering the truth about yourself your identity could have been hidden from you you could have been adopted or given up for adoption at a young age um, or lied to about your family like your uncle is really your dad or something like that like there's something weird about your your lineage that was lied to and now you're going on this long sacred heated journey to passionately figure out who you are, what you are, why you're here, and, and and why do you know the things that you know? Because no one else in your family mimics that type of energy. And so it's really just you because you're not really related to them. And so now you're just on this quest of trying to figure out who you are, what you are, why you're here. But a lot of what you went through left you feeling deep in your mask energy. And so now it's time for you to stand in your your abundant feminine energy you could be an air sign or have prominent air placements in your chart you could be a fire sign or have prominent fire placements in your chart but yeah like i said things come illuminated to you easily but to who you representing the illumination card you easily find out things that people don't want you to find out you are easily enlightened and you communicate easily, though a lot of times you don't feel the need to. You're like, why can't we just speak with energy? Why do I have to use freaking words? It's so long and tedious. And that's because you're not really from here. And you're being illuminated to this fact about yourself. And that's why you're able to reach into the ethers and bring forth tangible things into this realm. You are like some type of open channel where you can bring forth things from other realms here for the purpose of healing or some type of abundance and prosperity for yourself or for the collective you're very in tuned in tapped in and aligned with kepfra here yes yeah, cycles of change and entering the mystery like i said 
you cut cords and sever things, you're going on somewhere different. You're 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 in your own league here. You understand? You're in your own league here. They cannot keep up with you and, and people that want to to catch up with you and hinder you, block you or whatever, they can't keep up with you because you're constantly changing and evolving. You're like the moon cycles. You shift with the moon cycles. So it's hard to, to pin you down. It's really hard to. As you're entering this my mystery, you're under deep protection, motherly guidance. You have so many mother figures around you. Sekhmet, Bastet, Nekbet, Mother Mut. I said, Nephthys, come on. You are so loved, guided, and protected. What did I say? That high priestess energy. You have that high priestess energy. Yeah, you're coming into reconciliation with yourself, with aspects of yourself that you were once ashamed of and forgotten about. You're starting to heal that. You're breaking these chains and cycles like it ain't no tomorrow. And Bast is proud of you. And so is the rest of your spiritual team. You wouldn't have made it this far. You would not be on this reading if you did not succeed at closing out some type of repetitive karmic cycle. And you're moving on to the better to bring prosperity, health, wealth, and happiness into your life for yourself. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close out this reading. Like I said, guys, I know that this was long, but <laughs> listen, I have to get these messages out. All right, take what applies, and if it don't apply, let it fly. I love you all. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It helps me. It helps the channel. It helps the community. I love you, ancient ones. You later.